Well, over the past couple of weeks, the work to get a new state budget has been ramping up. It's important to know how lawmakers are spending and saving all those taxpayer dollars. Chief political reporter Susan Rath is here to break it all down for us. Hey, Susan. Hey, good morning. I just want to say I'm not sure we're having as much fun at the Capitol as you guys are. <laughs> yeah, no. A fit conversation and an eating pretzels. Exactly. No. We moved yeah. from fitness to pretzels, yeah. which is good. good it's, all, it's all on our budget. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of budgets, how yeah. are you? I'm, I'm good, and I think the state of Connecticut is good. We have uh, a record surplus and rainy day fund and we've been hearing about that right so mm -hmm. that's very good news but something to keep in mind so this is the time of year so I'll just break it down so the governor yeah. puts his budget forward we heard that in February then the legislature right and so everyone thinks well we have a lot of money so everyone is looking for spending right, right. the University of Connecticut higher education nonprofits but here's the takeaway that back in 2017 lawmakers on a bipartisan basis got together and put fiscal guardrails in place, a spending cap, right? Got so it. that means they can't really spend what they have in the past. So the money may come in, but it's, it's not, not going out. Correct. Got it. And so I think that that's the reality now that a lot of these organizations are realizing like they're not going to get the money that they thought. <laughs> now, my question is, why can't they just stay even as opposed to, you know, at, uh, you know what I mean? Like just, yeah. you just flat funding, flat funding. Well, that has been a thing in the past. In fact, uh, with budget deficits, which we've had for a long time, uh, a lot of state agencies or nonprofits, higher ed, were hoping to be flat funded and not cut. But it's not that simple. There's a percentage. And what that extra money is being used for is to pay down pension debt. Which is fabulous, right? So I think we're using like $3 billion and we're going to save like $400 million. So these are fiscal guardrails. They're important. Uh, the two budgets that are now uh, on the table between the governor and the Appropriations Committee, which came out, I believe, last week, are pretty similar. Uh, they both include tax cuts. We're going to see tax cuts. The question is how much and to whom. And the, to, right. the governor's was a little bit more generous. It was up to like almost 500,000. Wow, that's some, a pretty yeah, good that, of money. Some said that's really not a middle class. Well, I mean, that's for income. Right, right, so right, the governor, right. So a lot of people say, well, that's not really middle class. Right, right. So I think they're going to pare that down a bit, but we are going to see uh, tax cuts, especially like for lower income people. They may not pay any uh, state income tax at all or very little. Yeah. And this is important for people who are watching to know. Yeah, you know, absolutely. so often we hear about what's going on at the Capitol, but it's when people are trying to apply it into how it's going to affect their own lives. So when you're talking about tax cuts and you know different classes and how it's going to impact, it's it's really important to know what's going on and understand it thoroughly. It has a very big impact. I remember when I first started covering the Capitol and trying to pitch stories, and people say, "Oh, that's so dry. What's happening?" But what happens at the state capitol, and even in your town to mm -hmm. a large degree, really does affect you uh, and what they do. So higher education, we've heard uh, from UConn uh, and uh, Central and the whole state college system. Uh, they're not getting budget cuts, but they're not getting as much as they want. Right. And so a lot of people now are asking uh, for money and trying, but I think they're going to come to some agreement. Mm -hmm. But again, a lot of the things that happen at the capitol are very important. And speaking of something that's a little bit lighthearted, Tomorrow it is Yukon Day oh. Oh, um, awesome. at the Capitol, and you mentioned Donovan Klingon, yes. right? All seven feet to uh, him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, they're going to do a big ceremony tomorrow at the Capitol in the House and Senate, and with the governor, so that should be fine. Oh, That's true. And then they'll get back to the budget. Right. Okay. Then it's no, back it's to business. Yeah, everybody's got to have a little fun every now and then. Exactly. Chief Political Reporter Susan Rath, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Thank you. And next time, I hope you save a pretzel for me. There's oh, plenty absolutely. left. You can help There's yourself. There's plenty oh, okay. of bites over there. Uh, Good the, to see you. The Oreo ones were delicious uh, with delicious. the Nutella. Absolutely. <laughs>